work it out, Dutch. You always do. Hey, Arthur. Like a crap that's hidden. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Me and the kid made a killing out there. A killing. Well, put something in the box. Well, of course. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, how about we grab ourselves a drink, son? Sure. But I ain't sitting on your knees. This boy is a killer. All of you are killer. That was good business. <laughs> good business. You all right? We robbed a stage, yep. Arthur. The boy's idea. Good work, gentlemen. Good work. Keep it up, Bill. We need every dollar we can get. Of course, Morgan. I gave the kid a good schooling today. Is that right? Okay, well, let's talk more later. Sure, Morgan. All right. Hey. How are you doing? Excellent. Okay. You too. Come over here. Come over here. Listen to this passage. It is beautiful. Who, who is it, Dutch? It's Mr. Miller, of course. But an essay on the allegory of impotence. So, the question the seeker of allegorical potency should ask himself, or indeed herself, if potency is not itself too masculine a concern for our sisters to be concerned with, is this, is it in the seeking that we find or in the finding that we seek? Ah. While this might seem a pathway towards insanity, it is an important distinction and also a clear one. He who finds things is wise, but he who continues to seek is ever more free. Ever more free. Isn't that the most wonderful idea of all? Well, I guess it is quite pretty. Pretty? It's magnificent. My dear, magnificent. Ever more free. That's, that's us. If we keep seeking, we will find freedom. Now you two better get back to work. Go on. What do you think, Arthur? I don't think too much, Dutch. Not about that kind of crap, anyway. How's it going? <laughs> this is what it's all about, ain't it? Is it? Look at this place. What more do we need? Okay, I'll catch you later, then. Okay, Arthur. I met an interesting feller in the swamp. Real interesting. Did you? Sure. He seemed to know all about you. I mean, <laughs> all about you. Get out of here. All right, well, I should be getting on. All right, Morgan. When we doing some reading? Not knowing any business. I've almost got it anyhow. I told you I'd have you reading. Okay, now come on. I can't do it if you won't let me try. Look, what's the point of reading anyhow? Just put silly ideas in me head. Exactly. 
That's the point of reading. Another day, please. Okay. But you can't avoid me forever. Now, you boys act right and learn to do things proper. And one day, all this could be yours. You mean I could be the person on the wanted posters? There's a dream for you, boy. You'd be famous. You mean folks might want to lynch me because of who I am? And not, not just because I'm an uppity darky. Sure paradise for you, kid. <laughs> I can hardly wait. Uh, well, what a what a joy that'll be. What a proud black boy I'll be. <laughs> <laughs> you two laughing at me? Us? N never. Perish the thought. What about you, Bill? Um, you ever want to run your own bunch? One day. One day, folk will take orders from me. And trust me, it won't be no laughing man. No, 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 definitely not. Well, let me tell you, if you were my boss, I'd never laugh again. Not a word of a lie. Never again. It, it wouldn't be a laughing matter. Hello? Excuse me, Bill. All good, Charles? Leave it. Hey, fellas. Hey there. Leave some drink for the rest of us. Cheers to you, too, English. It ain't just for you. All right, then. Starting your own gang, are you, Bill? Maybe. One day. Well, I'd like to see that. Well, I should get back to it.
What's this place coming to? You're okay, girl. Hello, old friend. Had a good time, did you? <laughs> you going to get me out of here? I ain't decided yet. Real funny. Oh, I ain't joking, cowpoke. I heard so much bluster out of your mouth these last six months. And now, I got an opportunity to watch you be silenced. Well, you gotta do something. Why? Well, I always looked up to you, Arthur. Well, that's your first mistake. Listen, there's one little problem. There's only one of me, and there's a whole town full of people wanting to see you swing. You got to do something, Arthur. Maybe that steam donkey over there still works. some good force. Yeah. Hello, sir. I've uh, I've come from Blackwater. I'm on the trail of a dangerous gang. Como Driscoll. Heard you had some sort of incident. We don't deal with bounty hunters around here, son. I, I was just wondering if I could get a description. Well, they weren't friends. They got in a fight, and two men got killed. Now, one of them's an idiot, the other's some kind of dumb mick, so maybe them's your boys. You can look right enough when we hang them. Thank you, sir. Pull them off. What a modern disaster this is gonna be. Just pull that lever. Come on. Don't leave me in here, Morgan. Get the hell out of here! I got some unfinished business! Trust me, Morgan! 
trust me. You have finally lost your damn mind. Moving on. something of mine. My guns. I showed him. And I'll show the rest of this town. You have really lost it. call in the middle of all that ain't much i care about more than those guns that much is clear who was that fella skinny yeah we ran together for a while did a bank job down south didn't end well i saw how goddamn ended he was gonna let me hang i'm starting to wish i had and you owe lenny too he hadn't found us in time. Yes, we'll all be thanked profusely, I promise. Yeah, well, you're lucky Dutch has got your back. For some unknown reason. I think we finally lost him. Well, I hope so. I'm giving you a holster. It's my way of saying thank you. And thank you. 
There I was, having a dull day only for you. To liven it up by letting me help you shoot up <laughs> half a town. You're a funny fella, Arthur. Real funny. <clears throat> why you act all sour all yeah, the time. Yeah, well, you ain't funny at all. So why you gotta act like the court jester? Right, listen. I'm sorry, but we're family now. Arthur, you and me. <clears throat> Sons of Dutch makes us brothers. <clears throat> Sometimes... Brothers make mistakes. I'm heading back to my little camp around back of Strawberry. Come see me. Maybe I can make things up to you. You ain't heading back to Dutch? No, I've been a bad boy, Arthur. I ain't seeing Dutch till I can bring him a peace offering. <clears throat> Bye now. Yeah. Keep heading east. Is that the plan? For now. And when do we stop? When we reach Paris? Well, that'd be nice. Join the commune. We stop when we find some place sensible. Shake them that's following us and lie low. This is lying low? We turned into a bunch of killers. I mean it. We ain't even got the delusion of being anything but a bunch of killers. We are just trying to survive, Hosea. We don't have a choice. This will end soon. Damn right it will. Constipated as usual. Hey, Arthur. Good to see you. Why? You want rescuing again, do you? <laughs> no. I got a plan to make it up to you. A oh, plan like the Blackwater Ferry job, or like you going off scouting and ending up in jail? 
Dutch said you was a, a big shadow cast by a tiny tree. I don't even know what that means. Mm, I thought you was a tough boy. <laughs> Not one of those gentlemen trying to protect his riding clothes. I just know whenever things get real, you turn yellow and lose your head. Yellow? Sure seems that way. So I guess you won't be riding with me to rob the banking coach comes about this time in the strawberry. I heard one of the O'Driscoll boys yapping about it while I was inside. You and me? Do a robbery? That's what I said, didn't I? After you. <laughs> Come on. I know an overlook where we can watch for them coming in. What are you doing anyway, camping out here like some crazy hermit? Can't exactly stay in town now, can I? Like I told you, I ain't going back to Dodge without a peace offering. So what's the deal with this coach? What do you mean? Comes through about this time every day, like I said, the end. I mean, how many men, guns, riders? Nothing serious. It'll be fine. I heard the bank's been hiring every trigger man they can get of late. The meaner, the better. You worry too much. Forgive me if I ain't wholly faithful in something an old Driscoll told you when you was half drunk in a jail cell. He kept yapping about it, saying how they've been hitting it on the regular. That's a good lead in my book. Damn old Triscolls are everywhere now. Bastards got a hold of most of Big Valley. Heard they took over some big ranch north of here. How the hell you and Lenny end up down here anyway? Oh, you know how it is? A few loose ends, drink here, drink there. What loose ends? Nothing that needs to concern you. I always pay my share. It concerns me when you put us in danger and we don't realize till it's too late. Like that move you pulled in Strawberry. Making me kill half the town just for your precious guns. Precious they are. You need to roll a little looser, Morgan. Looser? I've seen you come full undone more than once now, and you've only been running with us a few months. Are we gonna rob this coach or bicker about it? What's done is done. Guess we're robbing it. Then let's do it. This is the spot. Hold up on this ridge. Hold! They should be here in a little bit. Hold tight. Which way will they be coming in? Should be from over there. We need to hit them fast before they get into town. Well, just don't lose your head this time. Of course, tough guy. <sighs> they should be here. Any minute. <clears throat> Look, there they are. Right on time. Get covered up. Come on! <laughs> right! Yeah.
base covered now. It's just you and me, sweetheart. Time I'll leave you in the dust. I'm hoping there won't be a next time. <laughs> you don't mean. Yeah! Hey, luck! Come on, boy! Something like that. You don't want to just break it open here, be done with it? Could be more than we can carry. And there might be a second crew of riders tailing. All right, then. Not to mention, we ride back in with a big take, new wagon. Shit! Now we're being robbed! Get across the river! <laughs> <laughs> Every job I do with you ends in a pile of dead bodies. Since when did you have a problem killing old Driscoll? Huh, huh. You've got a point. Let's strip this coach then. It clearly ain't going nowhere now. Give me a hand with this, will you?
Let's take what we can and get the hell out of here. That lock should shoot off easy enough. I'll give you the honors. On account of... Well, this... Come on, I'm happy to do it myself. That should do it. Come on, let's see if all this was worth All I see is you, me, a river full of dead O'Driscolls, and a lockbox. I'd say we're golden here, Morgan. Look at that. What's the cut here? It's good. Just make sure the gang gets its piece. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, big shadow, tiny tree. And like I said, that still don't mean nothing. Now get out of here. Go see Dutch. Make sure you ain't followed. I know, boss. I know. It's been fun. Keep him busy? Trying to. Well, don't let me stop you. Okay. Saved Mr. Bell from a hanging? <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, I suppose he'd do the same for you. Exactly. We're all in this together, Mr. Morgan. I know you know that. Of course, Miss Grimshaw. No 
Okay. Hola. Don't forget about all that money out there. Of course not. Anyway, you know what to do. All right, Arthur. Good morning, Arthur. Good old Bill. A bottle in your hand. There's a surprise. I'm entitled to a drink. The plan? Well, for no. there's some um, so for the rest stop? of us. When we reach okay, pass? Well, that'd be nice. Join the commune. We stop when we find someplace sensible. Shake them that's following us and lie low. This is lying low? You turned into a bunch of killers. I mean it. We ain't even got the delusion of being anything but a bunch of killers. We no, are just there. trying to survive, Hosea. Hey, y'all. We don't have a Hi. choice. This Morning. ends soon. The boy behaving himself? Yeah, right, it will. For the most part. Constipated as... Okay, I'll leave you two to it, then. Sure. You gonna get out there and make some money? <laughs> You're the one to talk. You've done nothing since you got back. What's wrong with you? It's all good. Calm down. Yeah, good one, cowpoke. Lazy bastard. You're playing a dangerous game. Keep this up, you'll see. Hello? My God, you're ridiculous. What are you talking about? Plain ridiculous. What did I do, huh? Calm down. Yeah, real funny. There he is. Everything good? I guess. I hope so. Okay. Don't you sit instead of prowling around the place. Here he is. Worst pimp in the history of the world. Well, ain't that charming. Take it easy. I'm just needling you. You're a strange one. At least the girls don't feel threatened. Oh, do you think you're so perfect? You okay, need to kill okay. Del Morgan. I really am done now. Just a regular comedian, ain't you? Hey, look who it is, little Shawnee o screw loose. Nah, not this again. Don't worry, I'm just playing with you. Well, it ain't funny. Why don't you tell us another? Hey, come on hey, now, cut this that is out. Funny? That's for your own good, Arthur. I'll be here. Arthur. Bill. Are you following me? Any trouble at all, Sean? You holler. Hello, Arthur. Don't relax too much. Need you for a job soon. You know me? Always ready. Anyway, not right now. Whatever you say.
Watch your sit, Arthur. Gentlemen. Hi there. How you doing? Tired. Well, some movement might wake you up. Could use right, a little more room here. Sorry, I'm in a world of my own. Yeah, uh, very good. You seem in a good mood. I do? Okay, maybe not then. Okay. Mr. Bell. You never learn, do you? You got a guilty look. What are you talking about? You're up to something. Whatever you say. Hi, Arthur. Hi, folks. Hello there. How are you doing? I'm fine. Okay. Folks are worried about you, that's all. Okay. At least you're reading it the right way up for once. Very funny. Well, don't let me disturb you. Okay. Hello, Mr. Arthur. Hey. You heard from any O'Driscolls? No, of course not. I've been here with you a lot. If you do, you make sure you tell us, okay? See ya, Arthur. Hey there, Jack. Hello. You're growing up fast. That's what Mama says, too. Just don't turn into me, you promise? Okay, Uncle Arthur. Hey, Abigail. Are you gonna act like a grown man now? Okay, one more time. Hello. Yes. Hello, Arthur. I'm only kidding around. Well, it's not funny. Okay, I'll catch you later then. All right then, Arthur. <sighs> hey, Arthur. Look at you, Williamson. You're as lazy as a toad and twice as ugly. I'll give it a rest, Morgan. Just calm down. You're an idiot, Morgan. Have you got molasses in your britches or something? Why are you acting like this? Sorry, I, I don't know why I find this so entertaining. <laughs> You're a strange feller. Hola. Hey, Javier. Dressed up, I need you strong. I've no problem resting up. Got some work ahead. Yes, see you later.